Socks are good to keep your feet warm, but why are pants there? To keep your legs warm? That's absurd. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week. Uh, welcome back to Gaming's Unnecessary Love Triangle. I, I don't know what that is, but I I, I loved it, Shaden. All right, so so Carson and I... Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't say this on there. <laughs> I, now I know that was applied more often. <laughs> oh, crap. I've got to go... <laughs> what? What are you doing? What are you reading? <laughs> Carson... Car- Carson and I, Carson and I, like late at night, we'll talk about just the weirdest stuff. And I'm gonna get so in trouble for this for saying this on here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, Colt, prepared to edit this and out. We'll we're ta- we'll talk about. No, you have to listen. We'll, we'll we just talk about the weirdest stuff, and it's like at two in the morning. And we were talking. I don't know if this is me and you or or uh, um, you and Blake. Me and Blake here. Colton, you talk. I gotta check this out. Wait, was that 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 second last one? Was that me and you? Pretty sure that was me and you. Uh, that was definitely me. I can't remember. That was, like, that I, was, feel like that was me. I feel like no, it was. I feel like it was all three of us. It was like no. I think it was like me and Austin. Like we were. We'll talk about like weird stuff like at two in the morning or something, and I'll write it down on my notes because I don't want to forget because it's so funny. What and so <laughs> this one, all it says. Well, okay, we were talking about an astronaut uh, beating one off on the moon. <laughs> This is not me. I and this the is astronaut, not me. The astronaut, um, you know, did his manly duty and, and, you know, made his stuff. And it went crashing down to Earth and hit a woman and got the woman pregnant. Okay, this was so not you and me. The I woman, don't the this woman's at all. son was technically from space. This really happened. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> Colton, that's not how science works. <laughs> like, think the odds of that happening. So, like, I would write, I'll write down stuff that me and Carson or me and my friend Blake will talk about, like, at night. Because that I had think, to be you and Blake. That no, was no, not that me. was me and you, I swear. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was, I swear. I don't remember that ever happening. It was us. I was it, looking at the one above it. I thought you said the second to last one. No, that was me and Blake. But... Uh, so we were talking about stuff, and Batman Arkham games are, you know, really popular games at the time, or right now. And so we were talking about what, you know, Rocksteady could do to make them uh, better games. So we have Arkham Golf, where you play as your favorite Batman characters playing golf, you know, uh, like playing some intense golf. Okay. We have Arkham Double Dash, where your your favorite Batman characters Okay, this one was go-karts. you, me, and Blake. Riding go cards. This one is Arc Super Arkham Bros. We might get sued for this one, but you get to play as your favorite Arkham guys, and then you fight. You know, yeah. this one we're definitely gonna sue for Super Arkham World Three. <laughs> <laughs> you play, you play as Batman doing things, and then we have Arkham Party. So it's just like a party for your friends. You play some Arkham games. Do, you know, do a little stuff. Like it's a fun, it's a fun time. It's a really fun time. But yeah, we just have the system of things that we'll just write down. And I don't even know what this one means. I literally have no idea what this means. But I guess I wrote this down, and all it says is Kolka Stooner, whoever that is, and then it says it says comma Darth Maul porn. <laughs> that's all. That's all it says. I remember that conversation. I have no idea. I remember because I because I thought it was so funny because I was like, hey guys, Darth Maul's just like, hey. I'm so horny. <laughs> <laughs> and point to his head, because, you know, he has horns on his head. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the greatest thing we ever talked about. I remember, like, it was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I thought that was the funniest thing ever, and was, like, laughing for, like, 10 minutes straight about that. Oh and God. now I, like, think back on that with utter, utter shit. This is what I have to deal we- with. Me and Blake always wanted to make a uh, a ch- you know the you know the chair or like thing that uh, Chancellor Palpatine's thing will stand on in the first episode one Phantom Menace that's like a little spider thing it's like you know crawling around he stands on it y'all know what I'm talking about yeah, yeah I know like I always wanted to invent that thing so it was real so I could like ride that thing around like you'd think something like that would be invented right it, it's it's called an electric wheelchair no no no, no. It, you it, it the same but function. it's like a spider. Like, but who wouldn't want that? Uh, people with arachnophobia? I would, okay, well, yeah, maybe, <laughs> but I would want that in a freaking instant. Like, dang. Golly. 
I yeah. like how before we started this episode, we said that I was going to start with my uh, sea turtles, uh, sea turtle story, and yet we are nowhere near sea turtles. Sorry, we'll switch to sea turtles. Sea turtles are really great creatures. Uh, hey, I, I, I don't uh, mind. Uh, my, I don't think my story was nearly as good as. Uh, well, it's Darth probably Maul. better we talk about sea turtles than Darth Maul porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, but before <laughs> we were, can, can you name this episode Darth Maul porn? <laughs> I'll think about it. Please, if you you <laughs> cannot edit any of this out, I will hit you in the face. All right, go we'll, uh, say your story. Well, uh, before we uh, started this episode, uh, uh, just sea turtles came up in the conversation, nice. and uh, I was talking about how uh, whenever I went to Hawaii for uh, my robotic science competition, uh, I was swimming at uh, I believe this happened at uh, Waikiki. And uh, I like had like snorkel gear on, but my mask had gotten foggy, so I like stopped swimming and like started to, and took off my mask and like was trying to clean it off with the water. And so I did that. I uh, succeeded. Put the mask back on. Go back underwater. There, I see this giant shape, dark shape next to me, and I just start freaking out. Because I don't know why, I guess I'd watched too much Shark Week, because it had been Shark Week, like, the week before. And, uh... And, uh, I thought it was a shark, for some reason. And it was actually a sea turtle. And so I, like, flipped out because of a sea turtle, and he just kind of stared at me, watched me freak out, and then just swam away. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I want to be a sea turtle. Like, going to places like that, like Hawaii and, uh... I don't know, like the Caribbean or something, and going to, to like beaches like that kind of freaked me out because there's always guys wearing speedos and stuff, you know? Yeah. Like there always are. Like la this last summer, we went to my family went to Turks and Caicos, and me and my sister, what? me and my sister were always like, we'll walk around there with these two old dudes in speedos, and we, me and Story named him Speedo Guy Number One and Speedo Guy Number Two, and that was really creative this, naming. Yeah, I know we're we're geniuses. And the, it was so weird because, I mean, Speedo guy number one was full chubbed the whole time. So, like, everywhere you looked, it was, just, like, and Story would point it out. Like, Story would be like, hey, Shade, check it. And I'm just like, stop! <laughs> and it's, it was so weird. And it's just like, kid, like, little kids are running around this dude, like, wearing the small Speedo. I just, I, it just makes me feel super uncomfortable. But anyways, I would totally wear a Speedo. But I had died down. Dude, that is one sassy monkey. He looks like a sheep. I, I just I will never get over the fact how much I love the fact that they're calling Link Zelda because it's like it's like uh, fans yeah. like me have nightmares about uh, <laughs> fans like me have nightmares uh, about people calling Link Zelda. And now I've named Link Zelda. Whoa, is that the love? Is that chick the love interest of this game? There's not really a love interest. Isn't there like a love interest for each person you turn into? Uh. Also, also, I, I don't hey. consider them love interests, and I don't think I can't think of. Can you I don't really remember the like, Goron, but I don't think there's one for the Goron. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm I really returned, sorry. I returned the uh, princess to her father, and they released a monkey because she told me. <laughs> oh, no, I was saying, what him. happens if you take off the mask and turn into the lake here? Do they care? No. Okay, here's the thing. They have that loincloth there to like cover himself up, but it still does look like a wiener. The loincloth looks like a wiener. You know? <laughs> it looks, it looks like a wiener, and I just, it's not a good, it's it's not a good like way to cover things up. Also, it's not covering up anything, you know. You're not fooling anybody, Nintendo. I mean, really. Well, they're they're Japanese. We love that. It. We love Japanese. That that was a little. Little racist, maybe? Nah. Or were you just acknowledging cultural differences, but you still respect them as a culture? Yeah, sure. That's really... Thanks, Carson. Really, I, I, you really helped me out right there. You're welcome. Where are you going now? Uh, there's a little uh, secret place. Secret over here? Just, is it a super <clears throat> secret? Or I don't, I don't think it's a super secret, because I think that, like, because um, most people know about it. So my brother last night was Actually, my my aunt and uncle's birthday party, right? And so we're there, and like my brother is, he's like this, re like he's just such a likable dude if you actually talk to him. 
some. And but babies like love my brother and like all these little toddlers, like two year olds. We, there's like seven at the party, and they're all like surrounding my brother because they love my brother. And Chasen will just be like, it's so funny because Chasen can will just make jokes and he'll just be like, assemble, and they'll all just like line up, and it's so cute because they're all just follow him everywhere. He's got like an army of babies. Oh, y'all saw y'all saw the last uh, the the last season of Parks and Rec, right? Yeah, where Chris Pratt has little ninjas and he's yeah. like, ninjas scatter, and they all like run off. <laughs> I think I may have lost him. <laughs> oh. the, ca the camera did, or I was trying to adjust the camera, and I don't think I did it well. God, Chris Pratt is awesome. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, oh, dude, that was a sick. G oh my gosh. Oh, parkour. Dang, he's so good. Parkour. So, uh, parkour. So, would you say Chris Pratt is your favorite male actor to act as a superhero? Uh, we, I, there are a lot of people that I, actors that I really like, but, uh, oh crap, the camera. Uh, but it would be hard to beat Chris Pratt. I think I would have to say, uh, definitely either Chris Pratt or, I don't know. I... I've Pratt. never been like a huge. I love Robert Downey Jr. Don't get me wrong. Like everyone loves Robert Downey Jr. But I was never like a huge Robert Downey Jr. guy. You know. He does play the perfect Tony Stark. He does. He does. But I, I don't know. Tony Stark just gets on my nerves sometimes. I really like Chris Evans as Captain America. That's true. I do. And uh, Chris Hemsworth is perfect for Thor. It's Chris I just Evans. feel like. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Is Chris Evans actually like that in real life? He's he's apparent like he's a Christian. Oh, and Pratt, like he's he's a good he's apparently cool. Him and Chris Pratt are like best friends, or they're really close friends. Oh yeah, did you hear about their like uh, bet for the Super Bowl? Or yeah. I think it was the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, the Super Bowl last year. Yeah, yeah like like uh, di didn't they bet like if if whichever team lost, like they would go dress up as their oh yeah person for like a children's hospital. Or something? Yeah, yeah, they're That's really cool. they're both really cool guys. I, I like. Them. I like them. I like them a lot. Yeah, I think one thing that Marvel has always done insanely well is casting their leads. Yeah. Like, well, finding the perfect people to play. Good job, Marvel. You guys are really killing it. Yeah, DC is playing catch-up. In fact, uh, Christopher Nolan was, like, the only thing keeping DC in the game with the Dark Knight trilogy. Christopher Nolan's amazing. I, I am a uh, big Christopher Nolan Christopher Nolan, Nolan is one of my favorite directors. I love Christopher Nolan. I really like uh, Quentin Tarantino. Um, I really like, uh, you know, Mark Webb. I feel like that Mark one wasn't Webb. serious. He's the guy, <laughs> who, the guy who directed the Amazing Spider-Man Spider -Man oh. movies. And that one I'm was pretty sure serious. he got the job purely based on his name. Because they were like, <laughs> honestly, that would not surprise me with Sony. They were just, because I they make, you, that's the reason. they make questionable decisions when it comes to their superhero movies. They make a lot of money, though. Yeah, and I just feel like somebody was just like, hey, his name's Webb. Spider-Man uses Webb. I mean, <laughs> it, it's perfect. I mean, Spider-Man does use Webb. It's not I mean, I'm not denying that. I mean, to deny um, that would be idiotic. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's true. I, I want a Spider-Man game uh, that's as good as Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider but you know how, what's his name? Uh, uh, uh... Who's the guy who was in all the Spider-Man movies? Uh, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. I want a Spider-Man movie and game with as Bruce Campbell's Peter Parker. You know, uh, you know how amazing that would be. I've uh, seen Bruce Campbell in person. At, uh, I have also seen Bruce Campbell. 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 Did Tobey Maguire voice Spider-Man in Spider-Man Two? Yeah, I want to say he did. He did. He did for sure. Like they all did. Uh, uh, Kristen Dunst was in it. Um, uh, James Franco was there. Like it was a really. Would you say that that movie? might be one of the best movie to video game translations? Crap, where did he go? Did that he yeah, it? that game. Uh, Batman Begins was pretty good. It was. I, I I'm trying to think did. of another one. Uh, the Superman Returns video game was just incredible. It, it, I didn't th like it. It was terrible. I was joking. Okay, if, you, if you thought I was serious, Carson. Oh, man. I'm gonna hit you in the face. Great, I bet there's a timer and like a noise uh. is like telling me how much time uh. I have left and but uh. I can't hear it. Uh. Well, mm. him and his cankles, dude. Yeah. He he must have like really strong calves. God, Link is just someone you want to strive for. He's like five years old and he's got like calves of gods, and he's got all the babes, and okay. he can follow this creepy. 
Alfred guy who is clearly the Alfred of the Deku. Here, the do, do an Alfred. Give him an Alfred voice. I can't do. Okay. I, Al, no. No, I know. No, no, here we go. Now, here it is. I, no. Oh. Here, here's the item I promised. Please accept it. Yeah, that's Master Wayne. Oh, here's the pig mask you asked for. I'm not really sure why you wanted it, but uh, it's very creepy and weird. Actually, okay, you see, I'm running late. I seem to have uh, uh, left the prostitute I hired in the room. That uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I don't like where this is going. And also, uh, now this is part of the uh, footage that uh, got lost, but do you guys remember the uh, dead tree-looking person we saw at the beginning? Uh. It's Is commonly it? believed that his son is that tree. Oh. The dead tree. Does it have a mustache, too? I don't think so. But Is, it's, is that but why it's just, this guy's all sad and depressed? And creepy? And, like, creepy. that his spirit in, is in the mask. The son's spirit is in the mask that we are wearing. And, that, and it allows we might actually thing. have that footage. Uh, I don't think we do. We? do. I think I because I, I think I was the one playing. You know, we got I just realized he's wood and he's holding a candle. <laughs> that does not seem like a very good idea. Make reasonable life choices, man. What were we watching the other day? Where those people had like a Christmas tree with a bunch of candles on it? Do y'all know? Was that was that Krampus? That might have been Krampus. Oh, Krampus! The tree caught on fire in that movie. No, that's not what it was. Crap! What was that? I don't even remember. We don't know what's going on. It's too late for me. I'm just like, Link is over there just being a little douche. God, Link. Yeah, okay, so I thought I'd just go ahead and take care of that while I was over here. I feel like the douchey Link is, uh, uh, what is it? Zor Zelda Zora? Oh. Is, Zor is it a Zora? Yeah. Yeah, the Zora Link is definitely the douchey Link. This Link is the really high, like, like innocent Link. Regular Link is just, you know, just... Just, I feel like that one's fashion regular link. link is high link, and this one's like the really really like, scared. Like, yeah, and then and then the Goron oh, link is just like trouble. the big fat link who's always talking about food. But also, we all, everyone love the Goron link is my favorite link because he's freaking awesome. The Goron link, yeah. You'll bro. you'll see him if we continue this let's play. He's freaking awesome, bro. Let's see. I'm going to. Uh, I missed a. Uh, what you would call it, a uh, stone statue, and uh, now we can teleport to uh, oh, the oh, Link. Uh, oh, 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 wow. We can, we, Link is a little douche. Why can, uh, well, you know, never mind. No, uh, please. Ask nah, your I don't even know what I was going to say. I'm tired. It's too late. Eat more chicken. Eat Arby's. Eat Arby's. Eat Arby's, homie. Shoot. So, so, for like, Deku's to, uh, to like, I don't know, is this, a, do they like trim themselves to make themselves skinnier and like more smooth? Is, is like liposuction for Deku's like just carving themselves? Can you they know, carve themselves? You're asking the real questions. Do they have you are, wood guts? Uh, once again, you are making me question all my Zelda knowledge because like, this is not stuff that I ever <laughs> would have thought to ask. Well, I'm just trying to, th I'm just trying to think here because like, like that one chick's w wood was so smooth, you know. Like that was really weird statement. But anyways, <laughs> oh. she was so smooth, and it's like she had to like like shave her her woodiness, you know, like to get all the splinters out. Like she sanded herself. She sanded, yeah. She had, she's like with a giant belt sander. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this feels so good. What is, oh, it's a it's an owl. Yeah, like these allow me to save, and I can, and once I activate them, I can uh, teleport. They the save is only temporary. I I found that out the hard way. That only temporary. That like like if I re if I save it from an owl and I reload it, then that save gets erased. So I have to save it again by like going back in time. That uh that new uh what is it what is it was it, it, it primal. Uh, Far Cry Primal game that looks really sick. I, I honestly think that's gonna be a really cool game. Where did that come from? I don't know. I started thinking about that because we started talking about owls and there's you can oh, like call the owl. Oh yeah. And um, like I I've never been a big fan of the Far Cry games, but I might actually play that one because I'm very interested in that. I have Far or no, I don't have Far Cry Four anymore. I heard Far Cry Four was just like the exact same as Far Cry Three. Uh, and it, 
made uh, a lot of people like kind of upset or I something. I don't know. I didn't know because I didn't play Far Cry 3. Um, I thoroughly I enjoyed feel, 4. I feel like there's was fun. something else I wanted to do. Here. You want to get down. Where's the strip clubs in this place? What does the pig mask do? Uh, it increases your sense of smell. Uh, what's the point of that? Uh, I think it becomes... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember. Like I said, Maybe I put it on it. just so we can see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I want to see what he looks like. I want to see this hotness. Yeah, I, I'll, I will model all of the uh, masks. So first, let's go with the old fit classic. Yeah. Let's really see. makes him a bit more... I don't know. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I like how he like plays his part. God, he looks scary. He kind yeah, of looks really? like Ganondor Ganon's uh, original design he does. in the uh, first Zelda game. I bet that's what it was supposed to be, you think? Like, uh, I don't know. And then, uh, 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 she's hot. I would, I would, I would, yeah. So I'm, I'm really trying to remember because I feel like... There hey, was... there's a guy with no butt. We should go up to him. Oh, Look, yeah. Zoom in on his butt. There's nothing there. <laughs> Not, he's got like it's just like this huge gap like going up into his stomach. It's like so weird. I love him though. He's a cool guy. See you later, bro. I, I oh I still have the mask. On. You know he's been looking at that sign for uh, for four years now. He's just like I hope nobody notices. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> just just act natural. We're we're about to lose Satan Carson. We have to find him. We have to find a safe point. Well, like, I, I'm, I'm good. I can go to a safe point now. I, I just felt like there was something else I wanted to do in this episode that I can't remember. Can we make an intense, like, inspirational video about those two juggling guys? Like, just zoom in on them and then play, like, intense music, and it's like... Like, what, what is their backstory, Shaven? Like, well, they were young brothers. Lived lived up or grew up as orphans because their parents hated them and uh, threw them away in the trash can. Well, and then they realized that whoa, because they started throwing like their diapers around, and they realized, dude, we can do this. And so now they practice every day so they can win the national Hyrule juggling tournament. This isn't Hyrule. Shut up. And one day they will win it. Oh, yeah. One day they will win the Hyrule tournament, and they will bring honor to their family once again. And they're going to uh, look for their, their I, parents. I really want to sing the uh, Mulan song uh, please, where she's like says, please bring honor to us all. Yes, you, you guys remember that Make one? a man yeah. out That's of you. That's the only song I remember from uh, Mulan. Wait, the one the I was talking about, about or song Make song. a Man Out of You? Because those the are two different. Man. That's the only song I remember. Okay, yeah. so uh, if I, this girl runs hey. a bank. Is that a girl? I thought it was. I thought it I think that's a hippie guy. No, it oh. could be a girl. I think I it's know. a girl. It's probably a girl. Definitely. I think if I like uh, put my money in this bank, like then like I'll if I don't and I go back in time, I'll lose it. But if I for some reason it doesn't really make any sense within the it makes more universe. sense for you to have it on you. Yeah, but do you know who this chick reminds me of? That one dude from uh, from extremely goofy movie who loved the cheese oh. whiz. And he's, oh, he's like the Leaning Tower hey, of cheese. Put that on our list, of, our list of movies we need to watch. All right, I, I I I think so too. I think wasn't there like a uh, female who kind of looked like this in that movie? Yes. Like she ran and, like the and he, uh, poetry. They club like or they like got together, but I love how like they all wear the gloves, and that one dude's just like, why are we always wearing gloves? Oh, uh, that's such a, that's a, that's a good movie. What a stupid name is Zelda. Just kidding. I think Zelda's a really cool name. That means you, Zelda Williams. Come follow us. Yeah. Did you know that, Colton? What? About uh, Robin Williams naming his uh, daughter Zelda. And, like, he's a really? big Legend yeah, her name, Zelda fan. Her name is Zelda. Really? He's like, yeah. a, have you ever seen the commercial where he's, like, t talking about Zelda and he's really, like, he's, he's at, like, dinner with, like, his daughter and he keeps saying these things about Zelda, but it's showing like clips of Ocarina of Time. That's awesome. Because it was an Ocarina of Time commercial. Yeah, Robin Williams is just an all-around <laughs> awesome guy. His daughter is the just world like, is now a dude, darker place was without him. him. But his daughter's just like dad, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, all right, I think well, this is a good place to. This is our this longest episode. episode to date, except for Idar. So, so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video or if you feel sorry for us because we're so pathetic, you can uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with your friends and or loved ones. Thank you. And remember, Bye. kids. No, don't. Wait, and remember, kids, if you can't jump out the window, you can always swim. <laughs>